Hey, Scott Chess Dummies, we are back with bracket four. Four. You got a wide display. Got a cracker went down the wrong tube. Little cracker, grab some. Let's test it. Test it. Hamlet maneuver. Let's test it. That's perfect. That's, That's the whole show. Mm -hmm. That's this whole episode is going to be like that. You need a little water? Mm -mm. I got some. All right. All right. We're in. The Heimlich Maneuver is responsible for yet another life-saving maneuver. He broke a rib. Bracket four Woo. of the Pete Strikes Back. Bracket four. What coins you got there, Bart? I have 135, 142, 143, 145. 146, 147, 148, 149. And I'm going to hazard a guess. There's a lot of people out there that are going to want the coin off of this ghetto. What? Well, maybe we shouldn't say this different glass. I see nothing different here. <laughs> 142, by the way. <coughs> so I was hoping it would slide by your nose. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> what happened? All right. I was outside working. I come in. The older lad, Bo, says, you're going to be mad. I'm like, just, just <laughs> let me have it. What happened? I was downstairs behind the bar. And I'm picturing like like the no-name. I'm picturing the no-name falling off. Mm. of the, And he goes, I broke a... He actually said he broke a bottle. I was like, what? Oh. Yeah, it was just a smart move because he's about ready to bring me down, actually. Because mm -hmm. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, well, you know, you're not cut or anything. He's like, mm -mm, no. And I'm like, well, show me what happened. So we come down, and, and in the trash can sits one of your plastic mm -hmm. dip Glen Karens. And he's like, I cleaned up the glass, but it didn't break too much. I'm like, oh, that's a glass. That's not a bottle. So honestly, he did kind of like a. I was like, thank God, it's not. I actually was was even worried that maybe he broke one of our blind sample bottles. I was like, oh no. So yeah. I said, hey, stay out. I told you, don't go behind the bar. He ran down to get a bottled water. <laughs> he, he thought something was about ready to grab his shoulder. I think it was dark. <laughs> So he grabbed it and ran and knocking a glass off. So, the, so a monster was here. Are so, you going to do a how-to video on how to make that yeah. their blind? Well, everybody blind here knows that people loved your how-to, how to make a plastic dip. You may get a video from me on how this is like the cost-efficient way. I've got a couple pictures on Instagram and Twitter of people <laughs> that have done this. To make a blind pay. Oh, they've uh -huh. done the dip. Yep. Well... I'm going to do you a video on how I did such a great work. <laughs> and it doesn't cost very nice. nearly as It doesn't cost nearly as much as this plastic long. dip. And it's just as functional. Mostly. <laughs> All right. Woo. So this is bracket four. We've got these four bottles. It, it, you know by now how yep. we did it. They're numbered. We don't know Bart, what they are. Bored mine right. blindly. I've got them set up. We've got the same yes. four samples, but they're just... They could be the same. Yep. We don't know. Could be lined up. We start done. with A, B, C, D. We nose them, and then we come back and do our tasting. Beautiful. Beautiful. A. <laughs> I can't wait to get to B. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. You first. Boy, there's a, there, this is a peat. Mm. <clears throat> well, they're all. There's a, boy, there's a nice sweetness with it. Almost, a, I, I would say, a wine influence. I don't know for sure. It's sweet. Fruits. We may be lined Sugars. up. Because this is like uh, Welch's grape juice fruit. I was thinking pork finished. I mean, it's sweet, sweet. Well, and I've made the mistake of just because it's really has a sweet nose of thinking it's wine cask influence. We've had some that 
weren't true. But true. This I don't know one's if that's very really a bad call. Very sweet. Very Welch's grapey. Mm -hmm. I don't get a sour bend to it at all. I don't get as much of the peat nose here though either, which. I mean, it's there, a bit of an earthy, dry dirt. But boy, does that just hit me as sweet, sweet, sweet. We already got the tingle going in the taste buds. All right, we're coming in. First of all, Ooh, can't tell the too. color of it at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I noticed we're... There's they're they're one, also pretty close. They're pretty yeah. close. There's this one definitely is sufficient. Um to uh it's not as fun to grip i'm gonna let you know right now it doesn't have that fun plasty feel feel it's got a paper tape feel this one is uh tropical and peat Ooh. pineapple there a lot of sweetness a lot of peat though too hmm. Hmm. i get a maltiness i get a uh wow. a peat underlayment throughout uh, honeycomb. What is the treckle? Somebody mentioned that. And it just popped into my head. I don't the know what treckle? Is. Yeah, a treckle uh, type of, of candy or something. I, I have know. no idea. I don't know. It popped into my head and I don't know why. Mmm. A little bit of a salt brine. I like almost like a sweet saltwater taffy. Wow. That. This one is, is, this one is really sweet. Really tropical. A lot of maltiness. You going C already? Or that was, no, that was still B. Mm. Yep. Mm. Back of the hand. Back of the hand. Whole unground coffee bean. C. Rewarding those fans that have been with us a Ooh, long time. That has a sour medicinal nose. Mm. Earthy. Underlay and pea. I get a creosote, almost a, uh, almost a uh, fermented sour fruit, and a slight body putty. See, I got to get this body putty smell down. Yeah, this bondo. The, the purple or the purple, the pink bondo is definitely what I get here. It takes me right back to dad working oh. on a fender. A little bit of a uh, sour fruit. That's good. Not a sour, well, maybe even a sour wood. Hmm. Hmm. On the D, that was <clears throat> quite an inhalation. Let's <laughs> try to speed it up. Good. That was a good speed up. Wow. Now that is iodine medicinal. Hmm. Hmm. Wondering which one you got. Because here I don't get an iodine. I do get a bit of a, well, maybe a bit of antiseptic, I guess. Yeah. But I also get a fruity, watered sugar. <clears throat> I still got some of that cracker in my throat. Mm. Man, that's just juicy here. A little bit, yeah. this might be a little bit of the pineapple. A little bit of the tropical fruit. Mm. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> this part still Kinda. stuns me. I don't, I don't, I, I didn't have one jump out at me ABV wise on the nose. So let's see. Knowing how a. peated these all are, that's where I get the surprise because I'm getting a lot more of the subtleties. A was probably actually the lightest oh, nose. No. I'm going to need some more of my D. <laughs> all right, hold on. Look away. Let me find it. Looks like there's still some in here, right? You did a bit of a save. Like I say, just pour a little bit in there. Yep. We'll see how that one does if yep. it even there we go. advances. And let me get a little paper towel real quick. Well, I was gonna just. I'm gonna go right into D. That's actually tell. pretty good. Really? Let me. Well, we don't know if they line up. Here, do you want to go back to that or would you like a little paper towel? Here, we'll go paper towel. Woo! I almost tipped one. I almost spilled another. That's got a, that's got a lot of vanilla and citrus. <laughs> that's a brand new technique. 
called the granite. Mm, nice. All right. Mm, mm. I'll try not to look at the you bottle. Go backwards. So not that it matters which one really. I'll mm. start. I'm gonna start with A. Mmm. Oh wow. Mmm. Mm. Earthy peat right in the middle. The open is a, is a sweet, a sweetness. I'm gonna have to come back to. I get a strong earth, dusty, <laughs> like dirt yet multi grain all at the same time. Mmm, honey in the finish. A sweet, sweet honeycomb in the finish. And a, um, a butterscotch caramel in the linger. Wow. Mm. A is a nice balance of peat and sweet. Mm. Vanillas. Earth. Not high on the AB, I mean, for, mid 40s, upper 40s, maybe. Not real high. Good mouthfeel. Mm. Medium finish. You're right into my B. I need a cleanser. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Going into B, cannot tell how dark or light the liquid is. <laughs> mm. Oh, wow. Mm -mm. Nope. B is advancing over A. A is good. B is close. A, B, V, Y is a lot more sweet, rich. Hmm. Trot some tropical notes. All right. I get uh, a uh, burnt wood the day after the fire. Uh, the ABV feels a little bit lighter. Um, a little bit of brine, almost like you were burning driftwood that came in right on the beach. Um, it's, it's a dry, almost slight bitterness to the taste with a very short finish that kind of disappears quickly. Surprise me. Mm. A little medicinal at the same time. Very astringent on the cheek. It's a pleasing, lightly smoked, savory flavor, but none of the sweetness that A had. Uh, between these two, I would advance A. C is the one with the sour nose. Let's see what I get here. Mm. Right now. Mm -hmm. mm. You're on the C? Yeah. It's good. It's a little bit more medicinal. It's a little bit sour, and I can tell it's already going to lose out to B. I'll go up to D next to it. Mm. On the C, I'll let you, I know you're doing your D. Yeah, wow, D too, nice earthy. Mmm, peat, sweet, light, light sweetness, light fruits, powdered sugars. Mm. This one, um, I see as that dry powdered sugar kind of sweetness, but a little, hmm, and the finish on the taste, a little bit of tobacco, pipe tobacco. I want That's to there. Okay, maybe we may have, I need to pop back to get the forefront of it. I'm going to go back to see one more time, but it's sour enough. It's a little mm. off-putting. A little bit of creosote on the front of this. Hmm. 
now. Mm. It's not bad. Mm. Next to the others, though, the sourness really comes through on it. I see it's really warming up. I get a, a dusty, dry, astringent maltiness. The best finish by far so far is my C. Mm. 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 I, I would almost have to spend more time with that one. That one's got some complexity to it. Again, I love our job. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. <laughs> yeah. we Someone has to do this. Yeah. We don't want you guys to have to go through this. So that's why we do this. That's why we train. That's why we practice. Lots of hours. Lots of training. Actually, our palates are getting better. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were when we had been on to the live mm -hmm. Scotch Malt Whiskey show, mm -hmm. he would mentioned he used to watch us early on for the entertainment value. But our tasting notes were like, oh, that one's sweet. Oh, that one's smoky. He said now when he tunes in, it's still the entertainment value, thank you, which is good. Mm -hmm. But he said it's also a go-to on something like, I know I need to buy that because Scott liked it or Bart liked it or the way they described it is way more in detail. That was informative for me. Well, he was saying, though, his palate does line up more with yours. A little bit more with mine. All right. I'm down to B and D. Mmm. 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 Okay. That was wow. a burp I suppressed just for you. Thank you for the suppression. My eyes were closed. The uh, the D is feels like a stronger, higher ABV. A little bit of a sour wood at the beginning. That oak is really strong throughout. But it stays just a twinge sour throughout the beginning and middle palate. I, again, I love the ABV here, it feels stronger. The peat lingers in the finish, but it lingers as a uh, kind of just the, the burnt, ashy wood. B, very rich, very sweet. Those tropical fruits still. I don't know how to describe the peat compared to Captain Description. <laughs> it's there. It's good. It's got a good finish. Mid to upper 40s ABV wise, I think. Going back into my D. D has... Maybe it's a little bit higher ABV. Such a nice combination of sweet, Gosh, dang. earth, peat. I need a little cracker. These are both very good. Here, this is a tough one. I'm pulling a bark. Good move. Hmm. I had to cleanse the palate. This is actually a tricky category. So far, I do believe C is standing out head and shoulders, but even in these backups, they're very close. They're, they're, they're so uniquely, well, they're peat, but different. Go back to my D here, then to my C and C. Mmm, mmm. Man, I just got a, that lovely maltiness of the A. Mmm. The drop of water on D just brought out more of the sweetness, more of the creaminess, marshmallows, toasted, roasted marshmallows on the campfire, the wood stick you're using caught on fire, <laughs> and you ate it. In 1972, because the wood was different then than it is today. They used to use real wood then for the marshmallow sticks. Now it's fake wood. 
All right, the wood on my D is is old original growth wood. <laughs> All right, that's a joke. There, I was I was going to say there is a difference between woods. This is original growth. This is redwood. No, let me come back in. That was good. Hmm. Wow. Um, the fight here is between the the sweet maltiness of A and what I think's the deeper, peatier, more complex C, which is telling me C is going to win, but boy, is that. See, I kind of lose the tight. peat. The palette is so saturated in peat, it's hard to tell that this one is lighter peat and mm. this one's heavier. I mean, maybe if you had one, if you had the extreme opposites, the end of the spectrums, but. Mm. <clears throat> mm. Man. That A is just so malty, and that, that malted barley is in the sweetness of it. Mm. B is it good. Is it's a good balance, nice. I think. I am trying to figure out what this malty one would be. God, I just don't know. I kept thinking I could pull one of these out. All right, if I had to, I would guess <laughs> Talisker, but I'll be probably wrong. I'm not even guessing. I know. It, it's screaming Talisker to me, but I, I'm probably wrong there. They, these have been mm. so hard. <laughs> well, what we didn't, until we, after we shot the first couple brackets, we were looking, and so many of these were within ABV range mm -hmm. of like 44 to 48. We had only had a one or two that were really high. Right. And everybody else was kind of grouped into this. Wow, this is a tough, it is tough, tough bracket for me. I think I'll, I'll, I'll guarantee our last two are the same two. Maybe we've we've flipped, swapped them up, but hmm. I'll bet you my one and two or your one and two. I'm going to pick C. We are doing the uh, the peat strikes back. It's a stronger peat forward, but boy, howdy is the beauty of the maltiness and the peat so nice with A, and and these is. The backups are really delicious as well. But there was one C, C to me was the least. I can, I mean, it just add a sour note to it mm. that I didn't care for. Okay. So let's look and see which one did you advance. All right, C. Your is, C is my winner. Is bottle number one. Okay. That one. Okay. And then A. I the, I advanced D. All right, D is bottle number four, which is that one for you. So we lined up different. Oh, I'm checking. Yeah, let me let write me these down. <laughs> this is B is your number two, is no. that correct? Yep, B is my number two. All right, that is bottle 10. Yeah. Which is that one right wow. there. So there's your second. Now, my number two was bottle A. That's number 11. Hmm. So we're totally spread. We're on different, yep. different things all together here. Yep. That's interesting. First time. Yeah. All right, bracket four. We're on to the championship. We're into the finals. The champion. Check it out. Pete strikes back. Woo, scotch it. You scotch got C for championship. <laughs> the championship. <laughs> Later, dummies. See ya. Oh, wait. Cilantro, dummies. Cilantro. I liked later was good, too. Cilantro. Dummies. dummies.